Hello, welcome to Brocco Lane, and this is part three of my uh, little micro layout build. Uh, so this is what I've been up to. Lots to show you, including a new locomotive there. In fact, I've got a few wagons uh, on loan from my dad's layout, and they're all of a southern. So uh, it's certainly taking on a southern style this time. Little pillbox um, brake van is now a southern version, um, which is more into the year I've chosen. Well, the postman's been and he's got me some goodies. Uh, one thing is, uh, first of all, this, uh, which is a World War II pillbox, and that's from WWS Scenics, the same people that do the static grass. It's a resin building, there's actually two of those. Uh, it was £4 for two, uh, so I thought I'd put that on the beach and it needs painting up, of course, um, but I think that'll look quite effective. Give it a World War II sort of. Um, uh, theme and with that in mind, I also ordered from uh, Sankey Scenics uh, these billboards. That is all World War II posters, which is really quite nice. You see a lot of these at preserves railways, dig for victory, and so on. And uh, save your kitchen waste for pigs. <laughs> so they'll look quite good on the uh, layout. I think it's going to be a World War II based layout, well, it certainly is now with those. And uh, we've also got some enamel uh, rusted signs from the era, which will go up around the station building, when I've got the station building. And um, I've had these done as well, to do custom uh, station signs. Um, so I've had those done as Brockwell. Well, I might as well keep the name, and uh, so uh, this uh, layout will be called Brockwell. And there's some larger posters as well which are quite nice for the side of uh, houses and things um, that's particularly nice uh, check out their website, there's some really good stuff on there and also when it comes to these um, custom signs you can choose any name you want um, and Great Western, um, modern stuff, uh, anything you want really you just cut them out and stick them where you want um, even TMD signs DRS, you name it, there's all sorts of things and actually, if you look on his website for the bespoke signs, uh, under the Great West, he's actually showing my previous ones as a sample. Uh, it says Brockwell, um, which is quite nice. So, painted and planted on the beachfront is a little pillbox, uh, which is overgrown on the roof with some static grass. And that's looking out uh, across the river, protecting that from attack, probably attack, um, protecting that bridge from attack. A bit of a flimsy bridge so it wouldn't take much attacking but there we go. That's uh, uh, Behind there is a pillbox uh, brake van by coincidence. Now what I've done with that is, um, that's the second one actually, I've still got the other one. Uh, that's spare really. But what I did was paint it um, a brown colour and let it dry. Uh, painted the little hole black. Uh, but then I uh, covered it in PVA and I dipped it in the play sand and uh, that's the effect I ended up with which I think looks quite good I don't know what you think but I think that was worth the money and really adds to the layout gives it a World War II flavour Now as I said in last week's um, episode I was uh, looking at getting station buildings and a signal box and I was looking at some of the scene craft and um, scale dale ones but uh, they were a little bit expensive um, and then somebody in the comments suggested I have a look at this company which is called uh, In the Greenwood which is laser cut kits and I did a look on their website and decided that a couple of these were probably quite good um, and uh, yes the laser cut wood um, they fairly easy to build um, I have modified them a little bit uh, so I'll show you those built up a little bit later now currently in the process of repainting some details um, off a previous layout, most of this off my Great Western layout, um, just repainting them green, so that's that's still in Great Western colours, need to get some green paint on that. Um, for the southern theme, never done a southern layout before, so I thought it'd be quite fun to, to have a go at doing that. So I found all sorts of things there, which uh, I should be able to repurpose and put on this layout. So looking at this little street scene, uh, you can see I've put um, a few of these posters up um, around the telephone box. I've also found that little uh, Royal Mail 
letterbox. There's a sign off my Ashover layout, which uh, unfortunately got taken down. And uh, some of these signs I've put on the side of that building. I'm still going to repaint the front of that building and uh, tickle it up a little bit, to uh, make it look a little bit better. Um, but I'll also put the brick paper on the side of that one as well. There's a Royal Air Force van there, which um, is uh, keeping with the time period of this uh, layout now. I've found uh, a few of these uh, grass tufts which I saved off previous layouts which I've just uh, started dotting around and just gluing down. There's a second canoe and there's also a duck which is on the beach there now. I forget who that, I think that's, I think that was from Preza, someone like that. And there is also a couple of signals gone up um, which I think are model scene uh, MS Model signal engineering it is, I think. Um, they were actually from my dad's layout, which uh, he got in a box. So I decided to just weather those up a little bit and uh, I mended the ladders and so on. There's one there, and then there's one on the station there. Um, those posters on the factory add to the scene a little bit. Again, there's a couple of wagons there which I've borrowed from my dad. But there's the signal box. Um, laser cut in the Greenwood um, model, uh, you can see their website. It was only, oh, I think it was only about £5 that, but I've managed to put this um, brick paper on the front of it and just um, improve it a little bit, put my own spin on it. Because I was actually looking at getting the Kerno one, the limited edition Bude, I think it is, and uh, I've managed to make this look quite a lot like that. Uh, so at the side there we've also got um, the signalman or a guard there with a uh, lamp, a uh, little bin outside, and a little repurposed Great Western hut which I painted green. Next to that, we've got the uh, a little fence uh, which I've been painting in southern cream, which is sort of a yellowy colour. And uh, there's the other signal. Again, another repurposed hut. And I found that sign, that's one of those Sankey Scenic signs, uh, just put on a white metal um, frame board, which I can't remember who made it, but I've had it a while. And I did the sand technique with that as well, covered it in sand, then painted it brown to make it look like it was sort of concrete-y, you want a rough, rough built sign. There's a little guy from one of my previous projects, he's a model loop figure, he's just sitting on the bank in the sun. He's on his lunch break, I think. Other end of the station, I've just fixed that um, coaling platform down. It's also got a little, um, a little shovel there and a couple of churns. And engines can actually fuel up from either side there. And in the background, you've also got the water tower now on the platform. And some more advertising signs gone up. A little road sign. Some more at that end. A few more grassy tufts around that um, buffer stop. Uh, this is repurposed as well from uh, another one of my layouts, which is a white metal crane kit put on some N gauge Pico platform sides and a bit of a, um, a top put on it. Um, that was a nice kit I got from an exhibition. That's a home of cattle wagon. Again, I borrowed that from my dad's until I can buy my own. Little point lever found as well. I need a few more of those. And there's the station building, which is uh, now finished. I might uh, put a white wash over it just to um, lighten it up a little bit, but there's a lot of signs on there as well. As I was showing you earlier, front door open. It did come with a canopy, but I decided not to fit that. So there's a little bit of detailing work still to do on the platform. But I'm quite happy with the way that fits. It's actually a half relief station. And that terrier is actually one of the Daypole Rails ones. Uh, which I've weathered just slightly and put a few details on. It's not actually DCC but uh, I've found even with uh, analog. If you leave the power down low so it doesn't move. You can have the uh, the light flashing. The... Uh, Firebox glow. 
which is a nice little addition. So he's looking a little bit, little bit like the Isle of Wight, and uh, that's an Isle of Wight terrier. So uh, let's say it's a, it's a pretend terminus somewhere on the Isle of Wight. And um, when the four-wheel coaches come from Hornby, or or Hattons, I'm not decided which ones. Probably both. Uh, I think they can look pretty good in that uh, station. So really happy with the progress so far. I'm going to get to painting some more details and I'll see if I can get that platform up to a standard I'm happy with. And I do like to stand that locomotive on the bridge. I think it looks quite nice coming across that uh, that bridge there. So that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching, uh, and thanks for your comments last time. I've forgotten the guy's name who suggested the uh, uh, the Greenwood um, kits, uh, but uh, you saved me quite a bit of money there and enabled me to buy that terrier. So thank you very much for that. So if you've ever got any um, ideas or comments, uh, uh, subscribe, put your comments below, and I'll see you next time on Brockwell Lane and uh, to see part four and see what else I've done to it. And there'll probably be a, be a running session at some point as well for you to look forward to. So thank you. Stay safe. Bye-bye.